Hello everybody. Today we're going to read another book about food. Yesterday we read Fruit Bowl and today we're going to read Feast for Ten. All right, so let's get started. This is Feast for Ten by Katherine Falwell. All right. For my family, in loving memory of my grandmothers, Willie May McMullen Chauvin and Evelyn Hanning Falwell, who often made feasts for plenty. One cart into the grocery store. See the number one? And that's one cart. Two pumpkins for pie. And those are two pumpkins. One, two. Three chickens to fry. See three? One, two, three chickens. Four children off to look for more. You see the four up here? Okay, let's count the kids. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Five kinds of beans. See the number five? Six bunches of greens. See all the bunches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven dill pickles stuffed in a jar. Number seven. Do you want to count the pickles? Okay, we'll count the pickles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight ripe tomatoes. Let's count the tomatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine plump potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten hands help to load the car. See, ten is one and a zero. Then one car came home from the grocery store. Two will look, three will cook, four Four will taste and ask for more. See, she's using the spoon so they can taste it and make sure it tastes good. Five empty cans. Six pots and pans. Seven more carrots to wash and peel. Eight platters down, nine chairs around. 10 hungry folks to share the meal. The end. All right, that was Feast for 10. And that is such a good book and it made me really hungry. Now I want to cook something. So we have two words, like always, that we're going to spell out. And these are our vocabulary words, okay? So the very first word is pie. Pie. P-I-E. And the P is p. P. Can you say that? Puh, puh. And the I 
and the E come together to make the I sound. Can you say it with me? I. I. So all together, you get P, I, Pi. And the second, the second word is beans. Beans. Remember, they were buying the beans in the store. So let's spell it out. B, E, A, N, S. Beans. B, B, B. And the E and the A come together to make the E sound. So E. Say it with me. E. N. N. And then S. So all together, you get B, E, N, S, beans. All right, those were your two vocabulary words of the day. Come back tomorrow and we're going to read another book. And the week is almost over. So that means that our theme is almost over and we're going to go on to the next theme. And the next theme that we're going to do is autumn and fall. And as you can see, it's getting colder outside and the leaves are changing colors. And that means that we're now in autumn or some people say fall. So come back tomorrow and next week and we'll continue to read more books. Bye-bye.